What's up friends and fam? So before we jump into the video, I just want to give a little bit of background before we jump into this day. So before we jump into the video, I just want to give a little bit of an explanation to everything leading up to this moment. <clears throat> okay, so about a year and a half ago, I was on my first ship. I was on my first contract doing the Mediterranean and Europe and Spain and the UK and stuff. And one of the places that we were going to was an island called Guernsey. So on Instagram, I posted my itinerary and one of my followers reached out to me. His name is Harry Robbins. So Harry reached out to me on Instagram. He was 13 years old at the time. And he's like, hey David, I'd love to meet up. I saw that you're coming to Guernsey. I was like, yeah, I'll be there for one day. And so we planned on it and then the day came and then basically what happened was the the ship couldn't dock because of the weather. So him and his mother were waiting around for me, but then I couldn't get off the ship and we had to skip that port that day and that was the only time we were going. It was very upsetting, but I was like, it's okay, Harry, like we'll meet eventually, like it'll be okay. And then I proceeded to go to sleep because I was very tired that morning. So after going back to sleep, I woke up and Harry sent me this picture and he said, it's okay, David, I still got my picture with you. It was a very touching moment and I had to share and I got a lot of response from friends and family all over Instagram and all over Facebook. It was just cute, it was really cute. So now, a year later, this brings us to this past summer. And I posted a video entitled, A Sad But Frustrating Day. And so what happened was, it was a year later, I happened to be on the same exact ship as my first contract that I did, and we ended up doing the same exact itinerary. So exactly a year later, I was going back to Guernsey. It was one day and that was it, but I reached out to Harry and I was like, Harry, I'm gonna be in Guernsey on this day, and we're finally gonna meet, it's finally gonna happen. And I was stoked, I was excited. We talked about it and with his mom, and then the day finally came and we actually docked the ships. We, we couldn't dock like in the port because the ship was too big, but we docked in the sea and then we were taking smaller boats to go to shore. So what happened was I basically like went down to try to get off the ship and it was like 9.30 and then I came back at 10 and they're still busy so they're like 10.30 and then 10.30 became 11, 11.30, 12, 12.30, all the way up until about 1 or 2. And that's when over the PA someone came on and said that no crew was allowed to get off. And so that whole time Harry and his mom had been waiting for me again right in the port. And it was very upsetting because Harry had gifts for me like sticks. It was very emotional and I had, I had to call him over FaceTime and explain and it was very sad and it was very unfortunate but after I FaceTime Harry the least I could do was at least post a picture like he did for me. So we may not have met that day but I did in fact get a picture with him. But at the end of that Harry said that he was going to be in San Francisco for a school trip in February. So today's the day and this is where we pick up the story and I'm very excited to share this with you all. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. We're driving to San Francisco today to meet Harry Robbins. What's up, friends and fam? My name is David Cola, and I play the drums. It's early, it's a Saturday morning, but today is the day we're heading out. I'm gonna drive about five hours and go finally meet Mr. Harry Robbins. So I decided to give something back for him, for me personally. So what I got here, I got the Zildjian. This is my symbol that I won from the drum off when I was in high school. I wrote a nice little message on the back for him, which, is, which will be good. But I'm gonna give him that. I'm gonna give him a nice Cleveland t-shirt because that's my hometown, you know? It's my home, it's my home, even though I live in LA now. And also a pair of Vic Firth 5Bs, which I use. So yeah, um, I'm very excited. I'm excited to finally meet him and see him, my 13-year-old army. Yeah, it should be an exciting day. I'm very tired, but I'm extremely excited and I'm happy this is finally happening. So yeah, friends and fam, I'll see you guys in the car ride to see Mr. Harry Robbins. Alright friends and fam, we made it. We're at the place called Tahoe Joe's. We're gonna get some food and meet, finally meet, Harry Robbins. Let's go see him. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up Harry? We finally met. Finally. <laughs> After how many years? A year and a half. <laughs> Sign Trump stakes. I, I had to. <laughs> no problem, I had to. It's my pleasure. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. From my hometown of Cleveland, Ohio, I thought 
I thought it'd be appropriate. So. Yeah, I thought I'd give you a symbol as well. So, because I don't need it anymore. You're mad. You're mad. You're mad. You're mad. You're mad. I'm going to fish on my mum. <laughs> Please. She's got to do this. <laughs> I know. You ready? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure to see you. <laughs> You're mad. <bad. laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm still nothing, you know? So is that any tips you have for Sure. Any tips? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the biggest thing that people have told me yeah. is just patience. Like, first off, you're still so 14. Lots. So lots of patience. Lots of patience, no matter what. <laughs> you have a lot of time, yeah. and you have a lot of years ahead of you before college or before anything. So, take your time with it, yeah. and don't try to rush into anything. Yeah, there is no rush. There's no rush at yeah. all. <laughs> biggest question. How do I become David Cola number two? How do I get Thanks. all those fills in? <laughs> all those flams. Yeah. You want to be you and you shouldn't try to be anyone else. Yeah. Of course, like, it's good to be influenced and yeah. I love being influenced by different people. Mm. But at the end of the day, it's you that's going to be playing drums and doing lighting. And yeah, at the end of the day, like, it's all you. Be confident. Even if things don't seem good at some points, of course, like every like I've yeah, down in my life dance. and I have hard times, and like even money can be a struggle mm -hmm. at times, but just don't give up. It's like whatever. Even if you end up not wanting to do like anything music related mm -hmm. one day, because it happens to a lot of people. Yeah. If that's the thing. You're still young, so anything can happen. Lots of things can change, but just do whatever makes you happy. Like ever since I was your age, mm -hmm. that's when I started doing my first drum covers and stuff like that. And like, it's taken me this long to get to the point where I'm at, you know? So it's a long process. So it's just patience, worldwide. That's why I said it's patience. Like, what, are, what are your dreams? Out of curiosity. Drumming wise, I would like to be like you and try and get as many contacts as I can and go around with massive bands and stuff. Lighting and sound wise, I just want to get with the biggest companies do massive. You know, you could also do lighting and sound for yeah. artists and do massive and their stuff. Tours. Like giving myself options, and I have sound, lighting, and drums. Exactly. So I have three options. So I go I have three ways. Yeah. What do you want now? We did it. We met. <laughs> Finally. After a year and a half. <laughs> Finally. I'm glad. I appreciate it. Finally, see you face. Get in here. We'll get a picture before we go. Cool. We did it, friends and fam. We finally met Harry Robbins. What a great kid. What a great kid. I'm really excited for him. He's very passionate. It's 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 pretty I don't even know what to say. It's it's that's cool. That's cool and that makes me happy. And it makes me happy that I can inspire someone like that from across the world with the videos and my playing and stuff like that. And that's the whole goal here. <laughs> and that's exactly what I want to do. And that makes me really happy. Um, so thank you for watching, friends and fam. You guys are the best. But right now, I think I'm going to stop and go to the bathroom <laughs> and then drive back to Los Angeles and crawl in my bed and fall asleep. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll update you guys as I go and I'll probably talk to you guys when I get back to my apartment. What's up friends and fans? I made it back to my place and I just hope you enjoyed the video. It was very touching and very humbling and it was a great day. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm happy this finally was able to happen. So yeah, my name is David Cola and I play the drums and I'll see you, my friends and fam, later.